Alrighty then. We have our little uh, manual. Quick start manual, you know. See that? And there's all of your accessories. We'll go through those as well. Of uh, Velcro straps, nylon straps. Looks to me like the back of the waterproof case. You can see that? Uh, zip ties, a little cable. I'm gonna guess to attach to the camera and someplace to one of your mounts. Another mount. Wow. No shortage of mounts. Looks like a tripod mount, which is very nice. Oh, that's nice. Another tripod mount. A couple of mounts with some... Uh, Double face tape, one flat, one curved, maybe for a helmet, power plug, this is an interesting mount, I've never seen one of those before, it's got a pinch clip on it, let's see that, more mounts, wow. More mounts. Yeah, it looks like a handlebar mount for a bicycle. More double face tape. And they didn't skimp, they gave you the 3M, that's good stuff. Looks like a lens cloth. And of course, your charger transfer cable. Your camera I mean wow it looks just like a GoPro looks like you have a mini a HDMI and a uh, mini USB nice big two-inch screen your function buttons yeah so uh, let's take this out Wow, it's pretty sealed in there. There we go. You got a little lens protector. We'll remove that. No. Now, I actually have one of these similar. Um, they call it a different name, but it's actually the same camera from what I'm seeing in here. We'll have to see what the video quality is compared to the two. But the Wi-Fi on this works fantastic. You know, when you're using the uh, application for your phone. Very nice. So then you have your uh, battery compartment with your battery. Micro uh, uh, SD card. And uh, yeah. So I guess the only thing to do now is to take some footage with this. So uh, stay tuned folks. Yeah, I mean the colors look fantastic. I'm viewing it through the, the two inch screen so if you have bad eyes you're really not gonna to see it. I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit here. I'm gonna face it towards the sun. See if I can get the blues in the sky. a nice patch of blue right there I mean it looks very vivid in the screen
Now, I'm not going to have a side-by-side -side comparison for you. You're just going to have to deal with this. Yeah, I really like the two inch screen. What a nice big bonus. For $54, I would call that almost stealing. also is video being shot underwater maybe just in a kitchen sink or something inside its case so we can actually see if this case is actually waterproof I'm willing to lose the $54 for you people so uh, yeah I got a lot of confidence this is gonna do the job because this looks a lot like a GoPro uh, waterproof case so uh, yeah that'll be included as well for the most part I think the screen has a little bit of sharper image than uh, the other cheap camera that I have from what I can see and the sad thing is I paid a few more dollars from the for the one that I actually own already so yeah not bad deal folks no SD card comes with this so you will have to supply your own so yeah let's uh, get to that water test After uh, viewing the imagery and seeing the water, uh, how waterproof it is, and and the price, let's not forget the price. And for a camera that you could just take anywhere with you, I mean, you're getting great uh, picture quality. Takes up to a 32 gig uh, um, SD card, so there's a lot of video there. You're getting a battery of life of about a, a one hour and 56 minutes, shooting in uh, 1080p. Of course, you can get more battery life if you lower your resolution, but you know, an hour and 50 something minutes. I mean, it's a lot of video. So, yeah, I can't knock that. The only thing is, I, you know, long-term review, who knows? Maybe it'll fall apart tomorrow. Maybe it'll last me several years. I don't know. But if it's still around in six months, I'll give you a follow-up. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it.